Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Norwood Sawmills LM30. Norwood Sawmills are based in Canada and they've been producing horizontal band sawmills for 30 years. I'm going to take you around the LM30 and show you some of the features and benefits. Starting with the bed, on the LM30, this comes standard as a 20 foot bed. You can obviously extend the bed to whatever length you want. So we do a four foot bed extension to extend the machine out. But our standard 20 foot bed, which allows you to mill 17 foot in length. And on the bed, we have two log rests, which are these items here. And these are fully adjustable in height and also for squareness as well for when you're milling your logs. Also you get a standard, the log clamp here as well. So again, this is fully adjustable in and out on the log and again you can add more of these to the bed if you extend it. The LM30 is a 30 inch capacity sawmill and what that actually means is you can put a 30 inch diameter log onto this bed and the carriage will physically pass over it. Maximum board width on this mill is 24 inches so what that means is from this roller guide here to this adjustable one when it's pulled fully back across there you've got 24 inch of board width. With the blade guards removed, you can now see how simple this system is under here. So we have a centrifugal clutch, and that's driven by a 14 horsepower Kohler pull start petrol engine. We have a drive belt here that goes around this band wheel, and this is what the blade sits on, follows through from the guide rollers up to what they call the idler wheel. And again, we have another belt on here which provides grip for the blade. Belt tension on your main drive belt is a simple adjustment here. So slacken off the nut here, turn the bolt, and that puts more tension on that drive belt. Bearings on these band wheels are a needle roller bearing, and these are greased every day. So you pump the grease into the grease point until you see it purging out near the brass washer. We have a couple of safety switches here. So when the blade guards are off, it means you can't start the engine. So it can only be started guards on. On the operator's side of the mill, we've got the control handle. So again, this is adjustable in height up and down. The handle here that you squeeze, that revs the engine up and then starts the blade turning. If you follow the handle up, we've got an emergency stop button here. This handle here is for used for raising and lowering the carriage. And wherever you leave this handle is where the carriage stays. So it doesn't matter where you leave it, that handle locks into position automatically. The handle that we have here is for blade tension. So blade tension is very simple on this. Once you've fitted the band onto the band wheels, turn your handle until the yellow spring inside just goes out of sight of the little viewing window. So again, nice simple setup. You can see here on the side as well, we have a lumber scale. So we're looking at three quarter, four quarters, six quarters, eight quarters and nine eighths scale. And all of these have got the kerf built into them. So you're not guessing on quarter of an inch to take into consideration of your blade thickness or the cut through the timber. The last thing we've got on the top is the water lube system. So this just uses normal tap water and this provides lube down to the blade, runs down a silicon pipe and ends up just dripping out onto the top of the blade. As an option, you can have this as an automatic system. So when you squeeze the handle, not only does it rev the engine up, it also puts the water down to the blade for you automatically. Thank you for watching today's Technical Tuesday. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, or you can give me a call at the office on 01476 568 384. Look forward to speaking to you next time.